hi everyone this video is about structures structures are similar like arrays arrays is a collection of similar type of element structures is also a collection of elements but of different type it means that structure can contain integer character float and double type variables structure can also contain arrays of any type the things which you will be learning in this video are structure template structure tag structure variables a structure can have multiple variables and structure members i have created a sample program here for structure so let me explain it to you this is a sample program of structure the first point to note in this program is structure should be declared every time outside the main function or outside any function now this is structure template this this the whole thing which i have selected this this is structure template the temp the structure is declared by the keyword struct we have a keyword struct which is used to declare the structure template this is structure tag tag is an identifier you can give any name to it like i can give it uh, abc but there i need to change later abc i'll explain you this whole thing but so let us just keep it tag for this time and i will explain you the things so this is the structure tag this is called structure tag after that the curly braces this is the body of the structure where we declare structure members we have declared three types of different members in the structure integer variable a floating point variable f and a character array that is string of size 10 it means that it can store a string of 9 bytes and one character for null bytes as we have explained you in the chapter strings so this is a structure template it it is defined using the keyword struct the tag these are members different members of the structure these are declared inside the body of the structure and here it is semicolon to end the structure template second point to remember here that you cannot give values to structure members here it means you cannot write here 5 or whatever you cannot give values to structure member while you are declaring them now we so up to this topic we have covered about the structure template and what is a structure tag now let's go to our main function and we will learn about structure variables so how the variable of a structure is declared it is declared like struct tag this and this should be same suppose if i am changing something here i need to change it here struct tag and then the variable name again variable is an identifier and uh, you can name it any according to the identifier naming rules in this whole line what i am doing i am initializing these three variables by this structure tag variable these three members of the structure by declaring a structure variable this is one method of uh, initializing the structure members like this you can initialize all the structure members in one single line how you can write it struct tag variable is equal to the curly braces and 10 is the value for a 12.5 is the value of f and hello is the value of this string these the values assigned to these members are should be in the same order as in the order they are declared means 10 is has been assigned to integer 12.5 has been assigned to float and this hello is assigned to this character array that is string by these three lines we are printing the value of these variables it means this is this is the dot operator we can access the structure members by using the dot operator so what is the method of accessing the structure members it is we can use the structure variable this and this should be same and dot and the member name so let me just compile it and run it and uh, show you the output of this program this is 10 12.5000 the five zeros because float has by default six digits after the decimal point and third one is the string hello so percentage d variable dot a prints 10 percentage f variable dot f dot print 12.5 and after that five zeros and percentage s 
prints variable dot arr that is hello so this is how we can give values to the structure member uh, there is another way of giving values to the structure member let me show you the way I'll just cut it here and paste it like this and I'll remove this now we have declared the variable of the structure along with the structure template this is struct this is the keyword this is the structure tag we have declared the variable along with the structure template and initialize the structure here so I need to remove this one semicolon I'll just close it and I'll just compile it and run it so you can see that it is working same so there's that is one method this is the another meeting method of giving values to structure variables let me show you the third method of giving values to structure members uh, we'll just put a semicolon over here now we have not initialized the structure members let me just initialize it one by one over here this is variable dot a is equal to 10 variable dot f is equal to 12.5 and uh, variable dot arr oh let let us just compile this much mm, there is a little change over there i need to tell you this let us just compile this program so it is compiling and running now let us give us the value for third variable also this is variable dot arr to hello there should be a compile time error you cannot assign a value to the character array like this when it is declared in the structure member there is a other another method for this I'll tell you that method uh, you can do it like this string copy the it is a string function which you have read in string functions variable dot arr and now so by this method this is the destination this is the source variable dot arr is destination hello is the source and by this method hello will be copied in variable dot arr so I'll uh, these are the two warnings because we are using the string copy functions and for that we need to use the string dot h header file so I'll just use it string dot h because it is defined in this header file now I'll just compile it and run it and so you can see that hello is printed so this is about the structure what we have learned here let us just revise it we can declare the structure template by the keyword struct then the tag then there are the three members and this is the third way this is one of the three ways by which we can give values to structure members we can declare the variable here and assign the structure values one by one here and then printed it or either ways we can declare the structure variable the tag variable here and assigns the value here you can just do it like this let me just do it for you equal to 10 12.5 and uh, hello we'll just do it and uh, remove these lines so we'll just compile it and run it See, it's working this is one way or either ways we can do it just cut it from here and uh, copy it and just delete this line now in this method we have declared structure variable along with the structure template and uh, there is an error because of this these two equal to's let me just compile it and run it see here it is so this is about the structures so what we have learned just that structure can be a collection of elements but can be different types structure can also contain arrays of any type integer character float double and any type of variables integer character float and double so this is all about structure in the next video you'll study about the unions thank you